हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड द प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज ऑफ द क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इन दिस सेशन वी विल स्टार्ट विद द प्रैक्टिकल नंबर फाइव दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन वेब सर्विस द एम ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल नंबर फाइव इज शो द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ वेब सर्विस इन दिस केस वी विल क्रिएट अ वेब सर्विस एंड we test the web service and see the output so first of all we will understand what do you mean by web service web service uh, are web services are client server application so do remember students right we have to create a web application for the demonstration of web services why because it is a client server application that communicates over worldwide that means it uses a www to communicate uh, with the server and the standard communication protocol that is your http hypertext transfer protocol so this is the definition this is the definition of the web service in java ee enterprise editions uh, 6 jax ws right java api for xml based web service so do remember one of the very important uh, property of the web service that it is based on xml provides the functionality for the big web service big web service uses the xml messages that follow the simple object access protocol that is your soap protocol and the xml language to allow the communication between the uh, server and the web service client so this is the basic introduction of the web service so one of the uh, very important characteristics of the web service it is your xml based that means right it is interoperable for any application now let us start with the uh, practical of the uh, web service in netbeans so in this in, in netbeans we first create a new project for web service we have to select a java web then web service next now it will activate the java web and the java enterprise edition java enterprise edition uh, is basically used to create and deploy the web services on server so just wait for some time now it is uh, it is activating the java ee enterprise edition okay now uh, we will start with the web service this is my first yeah uh, we will write first web service then next then the server right apache tomcat next and then finish so this is the this is the first step uh, to create a web service before creation of the web service we will first create a web application now in this web application that is your uh, that is my first web application as we can see here this is my first web application or web service so in this we will create a web service let's right click on this new so we have to search the web service option here right we have a web service if you uh, not found the web service option here right so go to the other right in other on uh, in the left side right we will first search the web service there is a option web service within this we have a web service next now this is my uh, simple web web service uh, uh, this is a calci web service calci calculator ws so this is my web service package name com dot my dot calculator you can give any name uh, in the package uh, no need to write like this calculator w ws okay now click on finish so now this is the uh, this is the steps uh, to create a web service 
So as we can see here, there is a uh, one folder uh, in the project, right? We have a one folder web service, right? Calculator WS. So just wait, All right? The, this is a code. Right? We have a package com dot mysql dot calculator web service. Within that, right? Uh, we have a calculator WS. That is your web service. Okay. When we uh, create a web service, okay, we have th uh, three options here: source design and history so by default right, it, uh, this web service has a one method that is your hello as we can uh, see in the design see there is a one method hello by default uh, this method is by default created okay so we just uh, if you if you require this method uh, you can keep the code here only right if you does not require this code just delete it Okay. Now we create a uh, new uh, method in the web service. So uh, click on design, right? add operation. So since we are designing a calculator web application or web service, for that we have to create a first add. Now the data type or the return type for the add method is your double or an integer. You can take an integer also. Right? We require a two parameter n1 just click on this add button n1 uh, in the integer and then again click on add n2 and the data type for this variable is and okay so as we can see here the add uh, method is created in the web service with two parameters n1 and n2 right uh, just switch to the source code as we can see here the add add method is uh, added here now return in return we will return the addition of these two numbers that is my n1 plus n2 so this is my add method in the same way uh, again uh, go to the design right? add operation now subtraction that is your sub again the return type is double or an integer we add uh, two parameters n1 with data type integer add n2 with data type integer okay the second method is created now third mult multiplication again the return value is double add n1 then add n2 okay then last operation that is your division div return type again double add n1 data type integer add n2 data type integer so these are the four methods now uh, go to the source code right we already written this n1 plus n2 now in subtraction we write n1 minus n2 in the same way in multiplication n1 multiply with n2 and division n1 divided by n2 so these are the uh, four operations right that the calculator web service contains so now uh, as we can see here right on uh, we just click on this these are the methods add division multiplication subtraction with return type double so this is the basic uh, operations that we add in the web service right? uh, the client will uh, will get a service for the addition subtraction multiplication and division this is the second uh, pa the second step in the web service practical now we just test the web, uh, first we deploy the application right this is my first web service application right so just right click on this clean and build so just uh, wait for some time right it, it is starting uh, or it is start it start the deploying of the uh, first web service just wait for some time uh, it will show the uh, message right success build successful as we can see here now go to the web service calculator web service right click and click on test web service then test web service 
when we click on the uh, test web service right uh, we will uh, we will first uh, the, as we can see here uh, we will first deploy the web service right we just build a web service now right just just deploy this web service there is an option deploy right as we can see here right the netbeans is deploying and then then uh, for the first time it will ask the firewall to allow the execution of the service just uh, allow access click on the uh, allow access right it is deploying the web service before uh, testing the web service we have to deploy the web service just wait for some time right it is deploying the web service as we can see here right? web service build successful okay yes now go to the project right click test web service now as we can see here calculated ws web service uh, is start the execution now uh, we have a four uh, calculator method add mult sub and division now i am giving a 12 here and then 12 right click on the add button as we can see here the return type is double and the result is 24 in the same way 12 and 5 12 5 is a 60 third way third operation 12 5 12 minus 5 is 7 as we can see here the last one is your division 12 6 the answer is 2 so this is the uh, basic uh, working of the web service right i hope you understood this uh, practical thank you